I'm brand new when it comes to shooting the traditional Mongolian bow. In this video, I wanna show you a great starter kit from huntingdoor.com. It's a great starter kit for anyone looking to get into this kind of archery. Stick around. I'm an absolute novice when it comes to this kind of archery. And part of this review is also my own personal journey. So I'm not coming at you as the expert as much as I am just as the enthusiast. And I mainly wanna show you what huntingdoor.com has to offer for those who are maybe looking to take the same journey. And I wanna show you what they have available because this kit that they're offering has everything and it doesn't cost that much. Look at all this stuff you get in this kit. I'm gonna go through each item, but this is only selling for 140 bucks right now. This is marked down from 200. You get this beautiful bow. You get extra bowstring, 12 of their carbon arrows, one arm guard, a leather finger tab, one thumb ring, one three finger hand glove finger tab, one brown hand guard, a pair of otter fur string silencer, one bow and arrow case, and a thing of string wax. They offer this in 30 to 50 pound increments. Take a moment to model this case here for you, man. I'm already feeling like just a little bit more of a baddie. <laughs> One thing I will say is if you were to buy all of this stuff piece by piece, you definitely would spend a lot more money than if you got the kit. I mean, arrows alone are very expensive if you try to buy 12 of them. When it comes to archery, I'm very much a novice when it comes to historical knowledge. I'm just a guy who wanted to learn how to shoot a bow one day. And for me, it was all about Western archery. I know little to nothing about Eastern archery other than my research as of recent. And my channel does include a lot of archery-based content, but I am by no means an archery nerd. And I say that in the most respectful sense. Here's all I know about Eastern archery. I know that I don't put my arrow on the left side of the bow like I normally do. When I shoot my recurve, when I'm shooting Western style, I put my arrow on the left side well i know for eastern i've got to put it on the right side and i got to do a thumb draw and i learned historically that they wanted a system of archery where the arrow would not be bouncing up and down as they're riding their horse they needed a system where they could keep their arrow firmly in place i did learn that hunting door is a great resource for those who like me are wanting to get into this kind of archery and they've just got a lot of accessories and things that you can get to help get you started. You know, when you're first getting into something, you're starting off small. You're not necessarily investing everything you have in all the best stuff right off the bat. And that's where I think a kit like this comes in handy. And that's why I've got it. I'm using the arm guard here because I don't know what I'm doing yet with these things and I'm liable to pop myself. But what I was saying to you earlier was, you know, if you keep this thing on the left side and you're trying to ride a horse, it's just bouncing up and down. So we're shooting from the right side I'm using the Mediterranean thumb grip here. I think I've got this right. Let's try it out. I've got the 45 pound version. Okay. At least I got it on the board. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of archers on YouTube to try to figure out the aiming system for all of this, but I'm just hearing a lot of them say just look down the arrow. Kind of different when you're shooting from the right side, but let's give it another go. I definitely don't know what I'm doing yet. I know that I'm not shooting this correctly. There's just something that doesn't feel right. So I'm going to do a little bit more research and get back out here tomorrow and see if I can do a little bit better. All right, it's a new day. It's a beautiful fall Saturday morning. Let's continue. All right, let's get this bow restrung. I take the strings off of these when I use them. But if you're like me, you're wondering, how in the heck do I string a Mongolian bow? Well, I'll show you how I have learned to do it. This can get really confusing, but with the bottom part strung, I just set it down on my leg like this, and then I step over it so that I can crack up here so you can see this, so that I can bend it this way. It's kind of tough, but that's how you do it. My next struggle was release. I know yesterday I wasn't doing something right. If you listen to the sound of the bow, you could tell something was off. I was messing around with the thumb piece that they sent. I haven't quite mastered that yet, but I went out to a couple of channels that I like to watch. One is Backyard Boyer, and the other is Alan Odinson. So shout outs to both of those channels. I know there are so many others out there 
that I have probably yet to frequent, but most definitely wanted to give a shout out to those two channels because they're very helpful. If you're a right-handed shooter, you normally put the arrow on the left side. Well, with this type of system, it's the opposite. You put it on the right side, but the tricky part is release. Here's what I've learned so far. The thumb goes underneath. Now you don't want to put it all the way in the knuckle, but like right here, and then your other fingers are going to be overlapping the thumb like this, knuckles forward. I know a lot of times it's easy to pull out. I saw them pull knuckles forward. So let's give that a shot and see if I have better results. I also wanted to show it from this side. The thumb is what's allowing me to put the pressure on. At first, I thought I was gonna have to pull it like this. I was like, that ain't happening, Jack. Going under here and here, knuckles forward, pulling back. One thing I will say is I got the 45 pound version and hindsight is 2020. With me being new to shooting this kind of bow, it probably would have been good to start out with maybe a 30 or 35. Normally 45 in a Western world, I'm fine, but this is brand new to me. And 45 is a pretty heavy pull if you've never shot this type before, but I think we're gonna be fine. I just, it takes a little bit getting used to. Let's get the targets out and see if I can do a little bit better. All right, let's give this a go. You know, holding the arrow like this, it's locked into place. You know, if you were moving, as I mentioned before, if you were on a horse, you're locked into place and you can change positions, whatever you need to do, it's locked in. From what I gather, the release is like a flick. Let's see how I do. All right, we're getting on the board. Let's see if we can get more accurate. A little bit better. A little too much to the left the first time, a little to the right the second time, but with enough practice, we'll get it dialed in. I'm gonna put this thumb guard back on. I think it'll help a little bit. I'm already feeling a lot of pressure using it with my bare thumb because, you know, for this new system, 45 is a little stout. You know, I, like I said before, I would have went a little lighter learning this, but I'll build up to this in no time. I'm used to shooting these weights on the other side, but I'm gonna see if this helps me out a little bit. We're gonna try it out. I think I killed it. I also know I need to work on the cleanliness of my release. Ooh, that's the best shot yet. All right, we're getting closer and closer. I think I've got one more in me and I think I can do better. I got inside the circle, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm getting better and better. Let's practice shooting this thing from some different angles. After all, the way you hold this allows you to move in all kinds of directions, bend in all kinds of directions, and still shoot. Let's see how well I do. Well, friends, I'm certainly excited about this kit. I'm excited about new challenges. I think for the price point on this, you get so many things, quiver, carrying case for the bow, you know, this arm protector, everything you need to get started. And this is absolutely perfect for somebody who wants to get started into shooting these kinds of bows. I've got a long ways to go in getting accurate and smooth with this as I am my other bows. But I'll tell you, this is a lot of fun. And it's really cool to get the opportunity to learn something new and to learn something historical, you know, the different ways that people do different things. Please feel free to share any tips or tricks that you know when it comes to shooting Mongolian bows, anything that would make me better. I'm sure that those of you who are very skilled in this arena has already seen so many things I've probably done wrong. <laughs> so just let me know. Nevertheless, I wanted to put this kit on display. You know, as someone who is new to the Mongolian bow, maybe this has inspired some of the rest of you who are in the same position. And if you are, I would recommend this kit most definitely. As mentioned previously, the link is in the description. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.